Quarantine fair. Quarantine fair. Quarantine fair. Quarantine fair. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not gonna work. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You gotta like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You gotta like and subscribe. Cooking with mystery. students are you here to cook with me today well if you are make sure you stick around for today's cooking lesson because today i'm gonna make a nice cool icy lemonade drink you know when you're at the fair and it's hot and you need something more than water to cool you down well, that's what I'm gonna make. The fair always makes like these awesome frozen lemonade drinks and I absolutely love them every time I go. So I looked up a recipe and it will be my first time trying it. So that's what cooking is all about and that's what being a student is all about and that's what being a teacher is all about. Sometimes we try things for the first time and we can be proud of ourselves and get it right. So. Today, I will be making two types of frozen icy lemonades. I will be making the Fair's version and Miss Teresa's version. You know, I always have to do a remix, okay? So make sure you stick around for today's cooking lesson. Okay, my wonderful students. So these are the ingredients you need to make your frozen icy lemonade. I'm gonna make one the regular way that the Fair makes it their recipe and then i'm gonna make one miss Teresa's way so if i worked at the fair you know miss Teresa would add a little extra love to an icy lemonade so don't get discouraged from all the ingredients this recipe is so simple and so easy so what you're gonna need is some ice a half a lemon frozen frozen pineapple frozen mango you're gonna need some sugar, water, coconut almond milk, ginger ale, or if you don't have ginger ale, you only have Sprite, or if you have Squirt, any citrus drink shall do, but I'm using ginger ale. You're gonna need some lemonade. Um, this recipe causes for um, fresh squeezed lemon but I thought I'll do a remix of it and make it easier for my wonderful students. So lemonade would do just fine, any kind. You're gonna need some vanilla ice cream. You're gonna need a cup. Look at that, this is a cute cup. This is a cup that they would use at the fair. So you're gonna need a cup to pour your drink in. You're gonna need a spatula spoon uh ice cream scooper a lemon squeezer a half cup a half a cup measuring cup and a one third cup measuring cup oh and you're also gonna need woo, a pot isn't this so cute look how it matches my spatula spoon i just love these pots okay so these are the ingredients and utensils you need to make your frozen ice lemonade. So make sure you stick around and I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys. So now I have, um, you're gonna need one third cup of sugar, okay? And what I'm gonna do is pour this sugar in my pot because we wanna melt the sugar and water together so we can make a syrup, a sugar syrup for our drink. So one third cup of sugar and one third cup of water. All right. And these two mixtures will dissolve together to make a simple syrup. 
And all you're gonna do is just let it sit here. And once you see no more of the sugar, then that means it dissolved. So, wait for the outcome. All right, so you see my sugar has dissolved, and this is the consistency that you want. You see that? It's like a sugar syrup, all right? And this makes it a little bit more easier um, to blend with your icy lemonade and it gives you and also gives you more flavor All right now. I had to double my recipe because remember I'm doing two different kinds, but you go ahead and use the um, original recipe For one All right So now This is all dissolved It's a nice little syrup And I'm going to Cool this down and let it sit until we have to add it to our icy mix okay so I'm gonna turn my oven off and remember you're always gonna um, you will cook this over medium heat all right everyone's oven is different but just make sure your oven that it's um, cooked over medium heat all right so I'm gonna put this to the side because I want it to cool down all the way you want it to cool down all the way before you put it in your drink and it will thicken up a little bit too. All right, so I'll show you the next step. All right, so my syrup has cooled down and now I'm going to add the one third cup of water and sugar that we made and dissolved on top of the, on top of our stove, okay? And then, we have to do one half cup. So that was one third cup of the dissolved sugar. Now we're doing one half cup of the coconut milk. And now I'm going to shake this lemonade up and we're gonna fill it up to the half cup mark. All right, so I'm gonna show you. All right, and then I'm gonna get a lemon and then we're gonna squeeze one half lemon, fresh lemon into this lemonade. See that? Mm-hmm. Make sure I get it all out. Okay, now we're gonna pour this into here whoa now if you want to put more lemonade if you want to make it more uh, sweet that is up to you and your parents but I am giving you a simple recipe for this icy lemonade now I'm gonna go get the ice And remember, you want two cups, two cups of ice. Now, if you don't like it like so slushy or icy and you want like a um, more of a less slushy texture, then by all means, use less ice cubes. But I want slushy because when you're walking around at the fair, it's hot and you just don't want to be... I want my drink to be cold. Now, bear with me because this is my first time using this, guys. All right. And I have my cup. So let me make sure we put the, the sugar and the water in there. We put the lemons, the lemon, um, lemonade in there, the lemon. We put the coconut milk and two cups of ice. So I am ready to blend. Okay, so here I go. A little bit more. Okay. Oh, whoa. 
you know what i just love doing things for the first time and it comes out right oh look at there look at that beautiful i just want you to know you're my favorite i see look at that all right so i'm gonna pour Woo oh that's okay quarantine fair quarantine fair look at that all right so i'm gonna put this in the freezer and then um let me taste it let me see mm. i'm gonna put this in the freezer and let it freeze and then i'm gonna show you how to make it miss teresa's way all right, so this is Miss Teresa's way. I like to spice mine up a little bit because I know what my taste buds have a taste for. So I'm gonna add one third of the sugar and water, all right? Then I'm gonna add one half cup of the coconut milk. I'm gonna get my lemonade the same thing one half cup to eliminate this is so fun guys it's like you're your own little innocent bartender okay and you're gonna do a half a lemon all right, and you know what I usually tell my students, my older students when they turn 21, speaking of bartending, I would say, you know what? We're gonna have 21 shots of Kool-Aid. <laughs> yes. So this is like really fun. All right, so we're gonna pour that in the mixture. Now, we're going to add frozen mango. It has to be frozen. It cannot be fresh because you want your icy to be what it says, icy. I'm gonna add, so both of those, I'm sorry, was a cup of pineapple and about a, um, a cup, a half a cup of the mango. All right, so now I'm going to pour about one third of the ginger ale. See that? Oh yeah. We're just gonna mix this baby up. And I'm gonna get one scoop of ice cream and a little small scoop of ice cream. So probably like two small scoops of ice cream. All right. Now we're gonna add the ice. So I did a little bit under two cups, which is like, no, this is two cups. So I'm doing two cups of ice. I still want it to be icy. I'm gonna put all of it in there. I guess that's enough. All right. Now I'm gonna put this on here. Oh my gosh. Miss Teresa is turned up with this drink. You know what, because it's the fair. I will want you to get like a super duper weird drink and I'm gonna mix this up a little bit, okay? Cause I can just taste all these flavors. I'm telling you, this is gonna be delicious. So here I go. Let me see. Let me do it again. All right, let me see how that looks. Oh my goodness. Let's see. I 
think that looks pretty good. I'm going to look. Oh, look at there. Look at that. I'm going to blend it a little bit more. Just like maybe a second more. A second more. Two seconds more. Let's see. All right. One. Two. All right. Now, let me get my cup. I am telling you, this is going to be awesome sauce. Okay? So... Take this off. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So whenever you hear me sing, it's because I'm really excited. All right. Ooh. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm fine. All right. Let me clean this up a little bit. Remember, you don't have to be perfect. So. I have this. Now watch. This is the cherry on top. Boom! Look at there. Yes! Look at that. And then I can even add... Look at that. Woo! Just make it look a little pretty. Yes. Miss Teresa style. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is come take a sip with me. Because it's hot. We in quarantine fair and it's still hot in the house. So we about to cool down. Okay guys, so you're back with me. And now we're getting ready to try the frozen ice lemonade. I want you to have a sip with me. So remember, this is the regular um, icy lemonade that you would see at your local fair. Well, these are the ones that I would see. And this is Miss Teresa's version with the ice cream. Look at there. Oh my gosh. So now I'm gonna taste this one first. I know I did a little sippy sip in the beginning, but I didn't get a full taste to give you my full reaction. So let's see. So this is when you're at the fair and it's hot and you, you had some water, but you're like, mom, it's really hot and I just need something cold to drink. So this is what you would order. So let's see. Mm. Wow. <laughs> mm. You know what? Just like I'm proud of you guys, my wonderful students, I'm proud of myself too. It's okay to be proud of yourself. I'm really proud of myself because I am telling you, I am such a fair person. I love going to the fair every year. So this really um, brightens up my spirit and it really just helps me with not going to the fair, but I have it in my home. I mean, my goodness, let me see. Mm, mm hmm Guys, you have to try this. Everything I'm giving you, it's quarantine fair week. This is so good. And if you want to add a little bit more lemon to it, that's all on you. It's your preference. But I, I, I really like the ingredients. I gave you the measurements. It's perfect to me. Now this is what I came up with on my own because I always like to add a little extra to whatever I eat. I love to eat, so let's see how this tastes. Ah, my ice cream melted, I'm sorry y'all because I was taking thumbnails, but let's see. Oh, oh! Hold on, hold on. Oh, y'all, listen. Y'all gonna stop playing with me. Come on through, students. Come on through, parents. Look at there. 
that is so that is that is so good and parents if you want to add some adult juice to this you go right on ahead you go right on ahead just add a splash of adult juice but you know what i'm gonna say what i'm gonna say what i'm gonna say Say it with me. This the one. This is the one. The tropical. This is what I call Miss Teresa's tropical frozen ice cream icy lemonade. <laughs> this is delicious. I mean, man, I'm telling you. You know what I'm gonna do when the fair come back? I might give me a booth. Oh, um, mm. I might give me a booth and sell these. I'm telling you, I think I'll do pretty good. Mm. This is the one, guys. My students, I think you're going to like this one because this is like a tropical lemonade type of flavor. And you have that hint of ice cream. Well, a couple of hints of ice cream. And it's just so good. I, I promise you, this is just so good. Mm-hmm. I'm drinking all this. I might walk around my house and just pretend like I'm at the fair. Just walk in my living room and my room and... <laughs> pretend like I see people. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> mm-hmm. I think I might do that because this is so delicious. And with the ice cream, mm. Okay, guys. So we're on day three of quarantine fair. Quarantine fair. Quarantine fair. You have to try these two recipes. All right. I'm really trying to figure out how to share my video so the world could see like the awesome um, concoctions I come up with, the awesome recipes I come up with. I want students all over the world to see this. So share my videos, like and subscribe. I mean, cause this like people, if they are a person who loves the fair, I'm telling you, cooking with Miss Teresa Fair Week it's the week for them. So tell them all about it. Then I'm coming up with these wonderful recipes. So I will see you tomorrow. And you're going to love what I'm going to make tomorrow. You're going to love what I make Friday. And I might even give you a bonus day on Saturday. Okay? So make sure you like and subscribe. I love all of you to my wonderful students. And I will see you on the next video. Mm. <laughs> hey girl mm. Mm. until next time Cookie.